you have created an NFT collection. You want it to be posted on the Solana blockchain and you do not know how. I will show you on this video a quick guide on how to create a wallet on Solana and protect your assets, how to move the funds from other blockchains or exchanges, and a couple of different options to add your NFT collections without much programming experience or maybe with some. In the description, there will be a timestamp showing each of the points that I have mentioned before. In order to show how to install a wallet, I have downloaded Chrome again. I would recommend you guys to use Brave, but in this case, we're going to use Chrome just to show how to install the Phantom Wallet and how to create. So right now we're installing the Phantom Wallet, as you can see. And once it's installed, it will appear here. Let's just pin it there. And we're going to create a new wallet. These are the words, the magic words that they're going to give me. We're going to choose a password. All right. Pretty easy. And I have read, of course. Right now, the mobile version of the wallet is not available, but they will create it. In fact, on January, it should be coming up. They're, they also say that there should be a, an airdrop. Nothing, nothing official, but yeah. Right now, we have the wallet. As you can see, this is the address. I would definitely advise you to create a burner wallet. So let's call this one main wallet. Now we create a second one. How do we create a burner wallet? We just add or connect wallet create a new wallet and there we have a wallet a second wallet we're gonna call this one burner now that we have shown how to create let's do the correct thing and uninstall now that we have the wallet we need to transfer funds into it the first token that you should be sending it's sol which is the one that you use to pay all the fees remember that here in solana the fees are insignificant but there's still some the exchanges that you can use are ftx binance kucoin bitfinex even ftx.us in the case that you are in united states in order to do it when you choose a withdraw you need to select the address of the of the wallet in the case that you already have souls in your account and you want to transfer other tokens from another blockchain, there are two main bridges that they are using the Solana app. The first one is allbridge.io, link on the description, and the other one is wormhole. Both of them pretty similar. You need to transfer the assets. You select the, the where from. You select to Solana, of course. And in this case, we want to transfer Ethereum's. So we connect the wallet to MetaMask, it's connected. It's going to tell me the amount that I have. I'm going to select the amount, of course. And here it's important that it shows on all bridges, you need to put the address again. Clicking on the ghost, selecting the address, pasting it, and there we go. It's going to give me a warning that there are going to be some transactions and that, that I need to pay. But remember that if you do not have souls, you will not be able to transfer anything. Wormhole is also pretty similar. The steps are pretty straightforward, but it has Terra, something that all bridges does not have. Uh, it's going to be implemented soon, but has not been done yet. Now we have the wallet, the funds. We need to add the end of this. And I will separate them in two categories. The first one is art one-on-one. -on -one, and the second one is NFTs in general. Like if you do um, a collection of 10,000 NFTs. So if you're an artist of one-on-one, -on -one, I would suggest you to use Olaplex. Uh, in order to create a, an account on Olaplex, let's take a look at the frequently asked questions. In the, in the question, in the help desk, you can click on selecting NFTs and you will find all the information that it is in order to go deeper on the on the topic. It's pretty straightforward. So just to do an example, we're going to create a store here and it's going to ask me to connect my wallet. So I'm going to connect it. Of course, I don't have any souls there, so it's going to be a problem. And we're going to call it uh, YouTube NFT Royal, the Olaplex. We add a logo and we add a banner. Oops, I should have click and accept approve. I'm always approving. Okay. Big title. Um, our background is dark because, yes, we're going to look for a little bit of more Roboto and Inter. Okay, this is how it's going to look. The page title would be NFT Royal Test. And the page description, this is a, a test to show how to sell NFT on Olaplex. Hell yeah. No, Olaplex. No, Olaplex. Let's submit it. Uh, oops, I don't have a favicon, so let's add a, the same icon. <laughs> All right. 
Now, yes, let's submit and that's it. Your storefront is ready. So once I click here in, I will be directed to YouTube NFT Royal Olaplex. Once you create your NFTs, what I have seen that Olaplex does is that it allows you to do biddings on the place. So you have an auction available for 24 hours, let's say. Once the auction is finished, you need another place, a secondary market. The most popular site right now for artists is exchange.art. And when you're here, it's pretty straightforward. You just click on create on the top. You add your logo, you add the banner, you add a brand name. Uh, NFT Royals, email address, the website. I would suggest you to use the website that you, you had for Olaplex itself, then the Twitter URL, the Discord, and a small description. I would like to show how some artists add this information and how it will look in Olaplex. Something really nice of Exchange Art is that you can actually see the different categories, the algorithmic art, the profile pictures, the illustrations, and many more categories. But let's take a look at uh, watching the, warm, the world burn of Rapture, which is an artist. The, his art, it's pretty unique and it's handmade, drawn. It takes him like months to do it. And, and here you can make offers on their projects. He has his Discord, Twitter, and the website. So if you are a one-to-one -one artist, these are the two places that I would recommend you to come and start using the Solana blockchain. But Exchange.art not only uses one-to-one uh, -one artists, as we can see, some of the popular hand-picked options. We have the Lotus Gangs, we have a couple of them. And if you have an NFT itself, a collection of NFTs, like the game Arrowy, I, I would recommend you to go to another type of place, like you have digitalized, or you can even go to Magic Eden. And in order to, to create your NFT, it's pretty easy and it shows it right here. For example, you want to create an NFT. Let's click on create. Please connect your wallet. They're going to ask me to authenticate my wallet. So again, we're going to approve it and we're all set. It's going to ask you what type of asset do you want to upload. I'm going to upload an image just as an example. Please be aware that it will take a couple of minutes because they are using a system with hardware. And now it's uploading. We continue to the mint. The maximum, the title of these ones will be, and we add a description and it has a value of, and then, and then we select the royalties. What are the royalties? The royalties ensure you that you continue to get compensated for your work after the initial sale. This means, this means that you are the artist every time that someone sells your piece of art, you will get compensated for it. A royalty percentage, um, you will need to choose how much you want to get from. For And in this case, let's say that you sell something for um, 10 souls, you will be getting one soul with a 10%. Personally, I would recommend to go under 5%. Once I added the information and I have all the creators, I click continue to review. It provides me the information, pretty straightforward, and I have to pay with souls the fee in order to post it. As I do not have souls, this is the end of this description, but as we can see, the minting process continues and you will need to be sending a transaction to Solana, waiting for initial confirmation, waiting for final confirmation, uploading to our aware, uploading to the metadata and signing the token transaction. Once you get to the signing the token transaction, this is the moment that your NFT is available for being minted by someone else. Digitalize, pretty straightforward, pretty user-friendly, instantly it appears, and it has a lot of volume going on. So I would recommend you taking a look if you have an NFT collection. Uh, the other option that you have is to use the Launchpad of Magic Eden. And what is the Magic Eden Launchpad? It's a product service that aims to help creators mint their own collection and technically no. Currently, we are only accepting small number of projects and we hope to offer more people soon. So be aware, they could accept you, they could reject you, they, it could be that it misses. If you are on the rush to do it, maybe this is not the place to go. And in order to mint your own collection, you have to submit an application on the Launchpad, which is just clicking here. You find the same information, add all the, the correct uh, data that you need, and that would be it. And I know I mentioned Magic Eden as an alternative for selling the NFTs. So I'm going to show how to use it after you create the Olaplex account. In order to sell on the Magic e on Magic Eden, you just connect the account. And the easiest way to get there is 
you go to the frequently asked questions and the first question is how do I get my NFT verification collection verified on, on it? You follow this. This is important because once you have a, an NFT collection that is verified, it's a little bit more respectful that it's not going to be a quick money grab or a rug pull. Most of these sites make pretty easy the way that you can create an NFT collection and make it mintable. In the case that you want to create, go the extra mile, create your website, create your own candy machine, and all the information about, there are options and there are there are guides that they show how to do this. I'm going to leave a link in the description that is going to show how to create a candy machine on the Solana blockchain. Please be aware that you will need to have a little bit of knowledge on programming and, to ha and how to implement this. We have arrived at the end of the video. I hope the information here was useful for you. If so, please let me know and keep looking the videos in the channel. See you in the next one.